Prepare yourself for the ultimate Champions League comparison. A gold envelope is going to decide our Champions League oh, match this week. Oh, oh, oh. All right. You ready? Ready for what? No way. Okay. What is going on? Is that uh, mine? No, I'm claiming this one. What, what do you want? I can't see any difference. Where am I going? Wow. It could be Paris. It could be Madrid, London. No way. And I tell you what, Harry Kane in London. Three, two, one. What have I got? Real Madrid against Man City. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> so with our Champions League matches confirmed, I boarded a flight to Spain. We got the bangers on. We got the bangers on. Whilst my dad stayed in London. Session ale, it goes down well, but not a lot of flavour coming out. A day later, we were told to meet our next checkpoint. Ho ho, welcome to sunny Madrid. The gold envelope has blessed me, but the chairman, he's got another one, hasn't he? What's this? We're just going to have a beer and watch Cocktail. the... This is oh. the chairman. Oh, yeah, cheers. So, who, who's, the, who's the chairman? Lads, who, who's the... Ch it's a set of challenges. Why have I got more to do? I thought I was just coming here to watch the football. Who can watch the perfect Champions League match? Number one, best weather. <laughs> finished 1-0. Cheapest beer wins. How do I win that? I mean, beer in London is about six quid a pound. It... Fuck that, man. All right, mate. How are you doing? <laughs> you all right? You're joking. It's for me, yeah? For you, of course, mate. Why? But look, I've got to give you something for no, this. No, don't worry. It's on me. Dad. Well, <laughs> got a Guinness. What's it's a frothy like? one. And it tastes like... Promotion. It tastes like promotion. Yeah. Come on! Awesome. Hold on. Zoom into the bottle for me, please. Check complete, 0% beer. Find the best local scram. Meet someone famous. Seat quality and view of the pitch. And number six, stadium ambiance. And with a forfeit confirmed, we had no time to waste. As I walked around the city, I bumped into a sign that caught my eye. Four euros for two full pints. Surely that's a lie. Let's find out. Hola, dos, cerveza, Cruz Campo, por favor. Four euros. The five points best bitter in a plastic glass. The deal wasn't a lie. Four euros, two beers, pints. That is so solid. Costs about five pounds. With a whopping three pound 29 difference, I'd scored to make it two nil. If you're wondering how I made it one nil, well, I think that's already obvious. Scorcher. Right, I got a falafel wrap here, but before I try this, Theo, what are you eating in Madrid? Well, in Madrid, we got tapas at Santi Cazorla's restaurant. Calamari, croquetas, red wine flying. I tell you what, that looks a little bit fancy for me. This is proper Turkish food in the heart of North London. It's a falafel wrap. Let's have a bang on this. That is spectacular. And the chairman agrees. Based off football match scram, Thog Dad gets a goal back. Our fourth challenge was to meet someone famous. So I've been feeling in contact with FG, who's basically the biggest city club. He's always with the players. I knew by messaging him, I'd end up with something. Sean Wright Phillips, how we doing, my friend? What's happening, man? I found you. No, you didn't find me. <laughs> FG <you> found me. <laughs> FG's found the me. Bloke, <laughs> the Listen, I've got WhatsApp messages, but I'm not saying a thing. I can't believe it. Number four, meet someone famous. Arsenal fan TV. It doesn't get better. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take that. I want to hear your score prediction today. There will be goals in it because of the way I think Real Madrid play and the way City play. I think it'll be a score draw. Yeah. Saliba, Gabriel, 2 0. Oh, they're too good. <laughs> Loosen up. Man, this is how I talk. He's just out. He's just out. <laughs> Why am I stressed? I don't get stressed. After a vigorous VAR check, the goal is given to Thokdak. It's two massive European fixtures, so we got to the stadium early to check out what was going on. Outside the Emirates, things were a bit more fired up. Look at this! Look at oh, this! Passion! Oh, City fans going into the stadium now, they look fired up. This is a massive Champions League tie, arguably the winner today goes all the way and wins the whole thing. What do you think of Tottenham? Shit! <laughs> what do you think of shit? Tottenham! Thank you very much. That's all right! We're Tottenham! We're Tottenham! The first coach arrival was Manchester City. Real Madrid fans are not happy at all. Back in London, the march had begun down Hornsey Road. I am speechless. Theo, over in Madrid, is there anything like that? Atmosphere's building now. I think the coach is coming. The scarves are all together. What's going to happen today? Score prediction. When we get this flare sorted, uh, <laughs> it'll be 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. What do you reckon, pal? 8-0. Game is starting in about an hour. We're going into the stadium. Soak up the atmosphere. They need the boost. And they're getting it. There's fans invading the area. Just look at it. 
People say the Champions League is dead. Take a look behind me. It smells like pyro. And that smell was over here too. With the clock ticking, it was time to head into the stadium. But the turnstiles are still not complete. But the inside of the stadium is, so I was confident ahead of our fifth objective. There's six tiers at Real Madrid, and we were on the first, directly behind the goal. Right, what about the quality of this seat? Look at that view. There is no way in the world that Theo has got a better seat and a better view. No way in the world. Whilst my dad may have had a better view of the football, we were closer to the pitch. So the chairman has called it a draw. As the fans went to their seats and players were warming up, it all came down to that final objective. Roof closed. And that's why I think with the objective stadium ambiance, we're going to win. Because with this roof closed, the noise bounces back. The ambiance is amazing. I can barely hear myself think. Look who I've just found. FG and Shaw Wright Phillips watching over the pitch. The Fanaticos ready, all in white. They actually requested that the whole stadium should wear white today. That's what we're doing. It's going to be a show. We got scarves, we got flags, we got fire. The ambiance is brilliant. Let's see what Foden has in his locker. Oh, that was crazy. The Madridsters leave the field. It's kick off. Time for the stadium anthem and a special Tifa. And then the South Stand. The scarves are out. The stadium ambiance. 10 out of 10. Stop that. You can't compare to this. Goodness me, a full stadium TIFO. This is something else. Here come the players. Whilst Arsenal had a few flags behind the goal, there wasn't enough pre kickoff for a game this big. I wonder what the players are thinking. Just unbelievable. I tell you what, the atmosphere in here tonight is electric. This place used to get a bad reputation. But when the Champions League anthem is blaring out like this, goosebumps. Madrid put on a full stadium mosaic, a TIFO on one of the long stands, and even told the fans to come wearing white. Moments like this you'll never forget. A, a full stand TIFO. Everywhere is full. Just insane. That has to be one of the best displays I've ever seen. But the final decision from the chairman will follow after the action on the pitch. Kovacic, the ex Madridster, kicks us off. Jack Grealish wins a free kick. It's taken low. Oh my god. Oh my god. And now they show the score. That is a shot. Already we have a moment. Don't think we should have done better. Loon in there. We're back on the way just like that. Madrid. Every time Eric Dyer gets the ball, they're singing, you'll always be shit, you'll always be shit. Harry Kane's getting booed. There's a really intense atmosphere at this game. Nil-nil after five minutes. Two, no. That should have been two, Ben White. Stand up! Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. 
everyone is standing up for the arsehole. These lads are standing up. Go no. stand up. No, stand up. Take a look who's in. Rodrigo, surely not. It's going in. You see at the burnabout, you will not see anywhere else. Ooh, what a run and a slow finish. Great to the back of the net. Oh no! It's one all, and there's a few Germans. It's going to kick off. It's starting to kick off because when that goal went in, it's one all. A bunch of Germans stood up. Valverde has a chance here. Vinny Jr. is making the run. Valverde, safe. Rodrigo again, safe by Ortega. Not sure about that for a name on the back of the shirt. Mental. Oh my God, penalty. It's a penalty, it is. What an incredible run from Sané. Harry Kane stepping up to put Bayern Munich 2-1 ahead against Arsenal in North London. And this time round, the German fans do not stand up. It is 2-1 to Bayern Munich. There's a shot going on here. Half time given, just as Real Madrid went on the attack. I haven't seen the score over in London, but you can't talk what we've just witnessed. Unbelievable scene. Right, it's half time. Arsenal won Bayern Munich 2. Who saw that come in? It's 2-1 in the other game. But I reckon they're going to come back in the second half. Come on, Arsenal. So behind me, there's about 100 Bayern fans. They've come with their banner. They know what they think of UEFA, and I tell you what, I feel sorry for them. They've come a long way, they just want to watch their team, so I'm sorry they can't be in the ground. The players re-enter for the second half. Here we go again. It's going to be a great second half. I'm going to go for a two-all draw. I'm going to redo my prediction. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Phil Foden. That's what he does. That's what he does. He really is something special, the Englishman. That's why the whole staff have gone round. To witness goals like that, directly in front of you. Top bins, 2 2. What must Drew Bellingham be thinking? The club captain, Luka Modric. The experienced man is on the field to change this game. They cannot go to Etihad with a one goal deficit. City fans in the home end oh. 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 oh my word! What a strike! Unbelievable! This is the most incredible game I think I've ever seen! Go! Go! Oh my word! You don't give Real Madrid half time, just they take them. 3-3 three, three. in the 79th minute. And that's what it means to their fans. Absolute scenes. A couple of Bayern fans being kicked out, quite right. That has to be a penalty. It's, it's got to do one of two things. He's got to go back and book him for diving, or he's got to give a penalty. That looked clear cut from him. Wow, just as Real Madrid had an attack. There are boos around the ground because that looked like a clear cut penalty. I don't think he looked at VAR. He's blown the whistle, the game's over. Ends in controversy, we've not heard the last of this. Madrid fans are fuming. But still a great result. Two draws, but two special first legs. This shows why the Champions League's so special. The only result that can't end a draw is our objective, which the chairman has awarded to Real Madrid. Look, as much as Arsenal created a great amount of noise, there is no doubt the display we witnessed at Madrid is one of the best I've ever seen. To think I was there the day before to set it all up to was so unique. Comunicado official, Thugden is a champion. Sorry, Thugden. But if you enjoyed this video anyway, I think you'll enjoy this one.